Hey guys, bit of a different video today. I won a pair of AAA tomahawk steaks and I'm gonna try and cook them tonight. This is the smaller one of the two. They're both uh, three and a half pounds. The other ones I think is a little bit bigger. Basically a hundred dollar steak, which I'd never buy, but I won them for 20 bucks. Take the paper off here. There it is. It's basically like a giant roast on a stick. I've never cooked one. I've watched a lot of videos. All I want to do is not screw it up. I want to keep it medium rare inside, delicious. So that's what we're going to go ahead and try and do. And right now I'm going to season it. So I watched a lot of videos and uh, looked up a lot of information on how to cook this thing. And myself, I'm a steak spice guy. So that's what I'm going to put on this. A lot of people say salt and pepper only. And then a bunch of other people make their own rubs. For me, it's steak spice tonight. So one thing I noticed a lot of people did was they made sure that all the edges and everything was completely spiced on this bad boy. And that's what we have just done. Now I'm going to wrap my rib here in tin foil and let it get to a bit more of room temperature before I throw it on the grill. I think my plan is to sear it and then cook it. I may just uh, cook it and then reverse sear it. I don't know. I don't really know yet, but here it is. So let's wrap it in some tin foil. All right. Whatever's left of the bone here, which isn't much, is wrapped in foil. Now check this thing out. This thing's like just shy of three inches thick. It's insane. Anyway, gotta heat up the grill, throw it on, get the temperature probe ready, and hope for the best. Like I say, I'm not a chef by any means. All I wanna do is not screw up this delicious piece of meat. All right, so I got the old barbecue up here and I've decided to go with the reverse sear. So what I'm gonna do is throw this bad boy on here on indirect heat and I cook it around 200 degrees and once that's done I've got my internal clamp to where I want it I'm gonna sear the crap out of it lock in those juices and hope it works out so see you in a few minutes all right we've been about on the grill for 20 minutes it's looking good I'm gonna jam my probe in here Oh, we're up to 82, nice. So at 110 degrees, I'm gonna start my reverse sear. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Almost there, 104. All right guys, so here's my delicious slab of meat. And it's pretty much at my 110 degree, which I'm looking at, it's at 108. So I'm gonna let it sit outside here for a bit. I'm gonna superheat my barbecue now so I can sear it on both sides for just a few minutes. And then we'll let it rest again for another 10 minutes at least. And we're going to hope for the best. All right, we got the grill superheated. Now it's time to sear this bad boy. Listen to that. Three pounder. See you in a few minutes. Whoa, now we're grilling. Look at that. This is it. This is the way it's coming off the queue. Now we're gonna sit, and the next time you see this thing, it'll be cut open and see how we made it. All right, boys and girls, so this is freshly off the barbecue. I'm gonna cut into it now, see how it looks. Hopefully I didn't screw it up. Like I said, worst case scenario is that I overcooked it cut this cap off right now so there's our first few cuts I think I did it I didn't I don't think I screwed it up it's nice and pink cut this meat off the bone Now 
Oh, I just had a piece and it's delicious. There we go, my first ever tomahawk. I think I nailed it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.